Hey, this is Matthias. We're going to demonstrate how to install a wood wrap on the Isotherm 115 refrigerator. We're going to wrap the whole door, the sides, the trim, and even the handle area all in a full wood wrap. Taking a look inside the kit, we've got detailed instructions on how to install the wrap kit. We've got our main panel, which covers the front of the door. And then there's a kit of parts. These are to wrap the sides of the refrigerator and the top trim area, as well as the handle and the pull area. Also included are alcohol wipes to make sure you get the refrigerator nice and clean so you get a good bond with the wood onto the plastic of the refrigerator. So once we've tested the alignment, making sure how the panel goes on, we're going to peel off one third of the backing paper from the top third of the refrigerator panel. So we're going to peel that back, exposing the adhesive, and then we're going to lay the panel onto the refrigerator around the door trim ring and making sure it's aligned nicely on the sides. Then we're going to work it down by peeling off the backing paper and laying the panel down, keeping it within those side trim rings. So you're just gonna be pulling down the paper, the backing paper. And just kind of work it down, make sure it's got a good bond. So that's the main panel. So then we're going to start with the trim rings. We're going to start with three parts that go on this upper piece. There's a top panel, which goes on the top surface, and then there's two that complete the wrap around the face of it. You can tell these are different than the other ones is they're a little bit wider than the other, pan other thin strips. And they fit to that, the thickness of that front edge of the trim. So we're going to start with the, the face of this upper trim panel. And so taking the long one, there's fine scored lines on the edges um, to help it wrap around the shape. So what you're going to do is you take the long one and you're going to start with a short section and then it has the score lines to wrap and then it will continue and then wrap around that far end. So once you've tested that out, you're gonna peel off the backing paper and apply that flush to the panel, around to the front edge, and then roll that end around the corner. And then there's a short piece to complete the wrap that goes on the end of that. Then we've got the large piece that goes on the top. It's got two rounded corners and those are for the front edge. Test that out and then peel off the backing paper. If you wanna leave some of the backing paper on there first until you get it all lined up. Press that on. So next we're gonna do the thinnest wrap pieces. These go on the front edges of the refrigerator, these trim edges. So we're gonna start with the, the two longest thin ones. And these are gonna go down the front of the door, trimming them in. And what they're gonna do is they're gonna start right at the top of the refrigerator, all the way down over that front, hiding the seam in the trim. We've got that tested, then you can start peeling off the backing paper and apply it. And what I like to do is use my fingers to guide it as it's going down onto the refrigerator. So just guide it along as you peel off the backing paper and lay it down. And then we'll do the other side as well, the same thing. Starting at the top edge of the refrigerator, down, get it nicely aligned, and then lay it down, use your fingers to guide it. So then there's two pieces to fill in at the top and bottom. And if you can test fit, if the piece is a little bit long, you could trim it off with scissors just to get it to fit really nicely tightly in there. 
You do want to check because it is actually a matching grain pattern, so you can make sure that you have it oriented the right way. Trim a little excess here. And then we have the lower edge as well. I'm going to check and make sure I have the, the, pattern, the grain pattern in the right direction. And again, there's just a tiny bit of excess veneer here. I can just kind of trim that off, either with scissors or... And next, we have two largest of the uh, kit pieces. These go on this, the sides of the door of the refrigerator. So these panels have a slight taper to them to match the taper that's actually in the molding that is in the shape of the door. So you want to test, make sure you have that orientation right so the taper it's a little if you look it's kind of tapered up a little bit here so you want to make sure you have the wood matching that so once that's all set you're just going to peel off that backing paper and apply it again just kind of starting the paper off so that you can get it aligned first and then peeling off the backing paper and laying it into position Again, checking that I have the taper going the right way. Last but not least is trimming out the handle area. So there's a trim ring and then there's a cover on the handle and a, a panel that goes inside as well. So, Test it first, make sure you have the grain oriented in the right direction because it's actually cut out of the same piece of wood. So there's a small piece to go inside. And lastly on the door handle itself. There you go, wrapping your Isotherm Cruise 115 refrigerator in wood. This is real wood. This is the CVG fir. It's also available in several other woods, including bamboo, maple, walnut, and white oak. That way you can customize your refrigerator to match the aesthetics of your van. Thanks for watching. If you find these videos useful, throw us a like or a comment below. We'll see you next time.